we see ourselves as being in a race. We could potentially revolutionize the world. This is one of the last technology frontiers that we've not explored. In this small shop, race team owner Oliver Kuttner put together a dream team of engineers, designers, mechanics, and race car drivers to create the Edison II and pursue the $5 million Automotive X Prize. They won. It gets 111 miles per gallon combined EPA, 129 on the highway, and we did it by basically building the lightest possible car with the lowest aerodynamic drag. It is a first prototype of trying to do something that no auto manufacturer can do. The shape of the car follows the principles of an Indy car. The cars we're developing are not just fuel efficient. They're not just record setting. They're fun cars to drive. Automobile companies are like aircraft carriers. They don't steer easily. We're still building the same 4,000 pound car to move the 200 pound person. We are the secret weapon that could unseat the General Motors of the world. We're doing it all from this little shop here in Lynchburg, Virginia. We are very passionate about what we do. These guys work endless hours. They work right to the brink of where you can't work. You're never leaving work. You're always on call or live in the back of the shop. That is the hardest part. I live through that door. So that, it's getting old. The cars, that once they're in your blood, they, they, you know, they're like malaria. I'm, I'm a racer, I'm an engineer. I work in the marketing department. I go around and do whatever needs to get done. Anytime you've got a high pressure environment with deadlines and very few people to cover the work, things are going to get tense. If I've made a mistake in designing something, I'll get to hear about it loudly. So we get a big round file or a big Makita drill and we like to make sure they're watching when we kind of Kalashnikov the holes out. We just keep having him change his mind until what he says finally suits <laughs> us. Yeah. All right. <laughs> things are always crazy and it keeps it interesting. People look at these cars and they say, Oh, fragile, you know, whatever. They, they don't know what they're talking about. These are race cars. Have you ever seen a race car go off course, bounce all over the place at 160 miles an hour, go, you know, over an embankment and hit another car and then it goes back on the racetrack and keeps going? You know why? Because it's well designed and strong. Life is not a dress rehearsal. I'm 50 and, you know, I want this thing to be a mainstream answer when I'm 55, not when I'm 75. We are beating the bushes every way we know how to raise the money to keep the lights on. There's always a politician walking in, you know, they were at the White House the other day. But all those don't amount to anything unless the check is there at the end of the day. We can build the most efficient car on the planet. It's not magic. You just do it.